Today we're going to unbox and test one of the coolest, the most exciting tools for bartenders that were ever created. And here's what included in this kit. Flavor blaster with USB cable, prime coil and fill tank, edible bubble mixture, that's exactly what we're gonna be used to make bubbles. So, and what do you do with this gun? You basically create these awesome bubbles filled with uh, aromatic flavors. And now we're going to test it out. Let's see how fast we can set it up. But first I realized they need to be charged a little bit. I'll just see you in a few minutes. Okay, we figured out how it works. So it's really easy. Here's the tank. So you see this little thing? This is where we need to pour flavor. But, but before we do that, I'll show to you that this is so neat. It comes in a few pieces. We're gonna take the top off and then unscrew this part. So the coil is inside. It's really easy to separate. If you need to change it, you just unscrew it from it. It's recommended to use a different coil and different tank for each flavor. I'm pretty sure that's how I understood it. But for sure, you need to use different coil. Okay, let me put it back together really quick. Okay, I'm gonna try uh, citrus flavor. It's only 10 milliliters each. See this, this is really neat. Okay, and then just we're gonna put it right here on the side. I'm gonna fill it up. Yeah, I think that's good. So, and screw this one back in. This feels like really good quality thing. So I'm gonna, I can't wait to test it out. But so far all these uh, little things coming along really, really well. Let's close it. And seems like the citrus tank's ready. So let's bring the gun now and try it. So I didn't completely charge it, but seems like uh, it's charging pretty quick. Uh, you see, I took this thing apart and now we're going to insert it right inside. Okay. So this is it, I guess that's it. Put this thing back, you're gonna slide it from top. Sorry, I'm using it for the very first time. All right, so that's about it. <gasps> okay, next, let's try to use it with bubbles. So this bubble leak thing is 180 milliliters, six ounces. Let's just try to put a little bit. So I'm not sure, I don't think I pressed hard enough or maybe I just put too much bubbles. I'm gonna try a little different. Whoa. Oh, damn, this thing's so awesome. I know I totally look like a kid right now, but this thing is so exciting. Let's go, we're gonna start trying to make some cocktails. Whoa. Okay, so let's try the first way. For example, if you make cocktail without ice, just like Cosmo or something like that, and would like to add this uh, citrus flavor. So you can do it this way. You're supposed to hold it as close as possible to drink and then like do it this way. Oh, shit, sorry, my bad. <laughs> okay, dip into the bubble and then do it this way. Home. Okay, this was my very, very first time. I never even tried it before, so it's obviously super easy. And then you take it, deliver it to their girl. Come on, guys, we all know exactly why you're buying this thing, right? Okay, so let me just go, whoop, it's, it's pretty good. So you deliver it to that girl and and just do this magic. Really cool way, and now let's try the second way when you actually can't place it on top of the drink, but you can do it just like I showed it earlier, where you just, you know, like kind of let the bubble fly a little bit, and it's just nicely dropped onto the drink and explode itself. So let's try it this way. So no garnish and let's just try to see how actually if the, the previous way would work. Okay, this time I'm not gonna forget to dip it into bubble. Ah shit, yeah, I figured it wouldn't work. You definitely can do it this way, but let's try to do it just like, <laughs> sorry, <laughs> just like I explained to you where we just make a bubble and let it drop on the drink. <laughs> okay, one more time. So see, I'm not forgetting to dip. Come on. Four, do it. Ah, 
<laughs> That's exactly how you guys will be doing it. <laughs> And actually to make really small bubble and drop it is so much easier. Well, you see, this, this actually could happen. When you make them a little bit smaller, they're much stronger. Wow. Whoa, I feel like a magician right now. Okay, and a third one, and a third one. Oh, come on, come on, come on, do it, do it. Wow, it just turned into one big one. Oh. This is so awesome. So that was of course the most common way how you're supposed to impress your guests, but also on their website, you can buy cloche and this is a little different than the we have. Uh, they have a hole. So like basically if you would like to infuse drinks this way, it's actually much smaller, uh, really convenient. I'm gonna try to use ours, but you get the idea. So you just uh, fill it up with smoke and then cover it. Yeah, so just it, it's uh, being infused with smoke and then just you maybe on a tray you deliver it to someone or just open it in front of the guest. And it's a really cool presentation. Let's try to show it to you in slow more. And of course, besides using cloche, you can also use carafe. So I just tested. It. It's actually really convenient. Of course, if you serve in any cocktails or spirit, so for example, you have spirit already inside and there's supposed to be like a little extension. It would go smoother, but you get the idea. So you just basically place it and then fill it up with smoke. Of course, stir it a little bit and then serve it. Okay, let's try to make something in a shot glass and see how it looks. But you guys let me know in the comments which one actually was your favorite. So I'm gonna shake it really quick. So citrus flavor is on. I kind of fill it up all the way to the top to see how it will work. Let's make a small bubble. Oh, damn it. First one didn't work. Okay, one more try. I'm still practicing, guys. Don't forget, we just unboxed it and this is my first time trying it. Oh, shit. You can see that clearly now. All right, that works. That's pretty cool, right? We bring it over, take our finger, and then just do this. <laughs> and let me show it to you there is not a really cool way how you can actually finish this presentation. So you take this and we're gonna use like lemon bitters. You can use citrus bitters, so the same. And then just do this little drop on top. <laughs> Super cool. Okay, now let's talk about little details. Just in case if you didn't know, this gun cost $400. Yes, most likely this is not the cheapest piece of equipment in your bar set. But hey, if you're thinking to buy this, it just depends, again, what bar you're working at, what kind of drinks and for how much you sell them there. Because uh, for a lot of people, like guest experience and this kind of presentations means a lot. You know that this is the way how you make money. I'm sure right now there are some people already who's watching this video thinking to get it right away, possibly for price event because you know that you want to increase presentation and stand out no matter what so yeah this comes with um, five different colors this is definitely my favorite I'm going to of course leave the link in the description is a flavoredblaster.com where you can go check out see more details see more how to do videos there is some really funny colors too I don't know that's really like advertise more for mixology type of handcrafted bars and cocktails but some colors are more like just like a toy you know like the thing for the nightclub in general what can i say i really really like it i couldn't believe that it was so consistent from the minute uh, we unboxed it easy to set up like super quick charge and by the way the whole time we were using it right now is uh, 85 percent and we didn't even charge it all the way so it's definitely will be enough for like entire evening when it's still half full of liquid i will be using it a lot more make sure to subscribe guys to see like how we're going to be experimenting what kind of cocktails we'll be making and i'm definitely Definitely will come back in about like a six months or so and tell you reliability and how was it good for us. Just make sure to subscribe and you know stay on the channel to not to miss any of the videos. And now guys, you can hit the like button, like, oh shit, like this, and I'll see you in the next video.